Hey what up guys, this is Sedson, and today we are going to take a look at the POW MIA flag. POW is an acronym that stands for Prisoner of War, and MIA is an acronym that stands for Missing in Action, a military term used when the fate of military personnel is unknown. These acronyms are placed at the top of the flag with a small white star in between. Below that is the distinctive silhouette of a prisoner of war on the inside of a barbed wire compound guarded by a watchtower. Emblazoned with the words, you are not forgotten, the flag serves as a reminder of those left behind in the swift withdrawal of American troops from Southeast Asia during the end of the Vietnam War. The United States left the war with approximately 2,500 Americans still POWs or MIA. With the great unpopularity of the war in the United States among many Americans, spending the time to locate all of those who were MIA was, very sadly, not a great priority. Of those that were alive and had been captured, their lives lingered in agony, living in deplorable conditions where torture was commonplace for years on end. In 1972, Commercial artist Newton Hazley was asked by Mary Hoff, a member of the National League of Families of American Prisoners and Missing in Southeast Asia, an organization dedicated to the return of all American prisoners, to design a flag for their use as a symbol for the issue. Hazley agreed readily, having been himself a pilot of a C-47 Skytrain in the Pacific Theater of World War II. What weighed heavy on his mind as a pilot was the fear that he could be shot down, taken prisoner, forgotten, and never returned home. Fortunately, this did not happen to him, but was the case for an untold number of American servicemen during the Vietnam War. It is this memory that led to the words, You are not forgotten, being placed on the flag that Hazley would eventually design. The flag became popular across the nation and in 1988, it was displayed at the White House, as well as at the United States Capitol Building, where it has been flown ever since. In 1990, Congress enacted legislation that mandated that all federal buildings and military installations, which did not already regularly fly the flag, to fly it six times a year. On Armed Forces Day, which is the third Saturday in May, Memorial Day, which is the last Monday in May, Flag Day on June 14th, the 4th of July, National POW MIA Recognition Day, which is the third Friday in September, and Veterans Day on November 11th. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at this interesting flag design. This is Sedson, signing off.